Once again, it's time for The Russell Brown Show. And in this episode, called Masking Magic, I'm going to give you two tips in one. I'm going to show you some great features of masking here inside of Photoshop CS5. And I'm going to double the action in this demo by showing you some content-aware filling that you might not have thought of using this tool for. So my goal is to mask out this background easily and quickly so that I can see my background. However, my background is not complete yet. I'm going to start this off by making a selection. I'm going to use my marquee tool and go in here and select this region right there just like that. Now, of course, Content-Aware Fill allows you to repair certain areas of the image that you've selected. It will magically fill those areas in with the surrounding texture. But I'd like to use this tool to create more texture for me. So I'm selecting this brick wall. I'm going to invert my selection here. Inverse Selection. What did that do? I now have this area selected in the transparency. Okay, that's the area that I want to fill with the brick pattern. It's an interesting tip and technique. And by the way, these images I'm using here today are from iStock Photo, a great library of images. And it's a great set of images I can use for demos like this. Okay, I have my selection that I want to fill. Now, a great tip and technique when doing content-aware fill, if you just want to fill something quickly and easily, hold down your Shift key and the Delete key at any time and make sure you're targeting the layer that you want to fill. And if you do that combination, you can go right in here and select Content-Aware Fill, just like this, and you click OK. Now, check this out. It's calculating a pattern and texture based upon the image I have in my background, as you can see here. But I'm going to show you something really special because, check it out, it's created a tiled pattern. But you see this detail here? What if I don't want this detail of the arch to appear? This is the super user tip and technique of the day. Ladies and gentlemen, girls and boys, check it out. I'm making a selection here of the area that I do not want to appear in my pattern. I can go over to this layer and create a layer mask. If I click here on my Add Layer Mask, it's going to make me a mask. I'm going to invert my mask with Command-I. Okay, this is getting complicated, but let's slow down. So I only want to use the brick pattern as my tile. So I hid the window temporarily with a layer mask. So anything I hide with a layer mask is not included in the pattern that's created. Let's go back over here. So I can click, I select. So we got that. I make a selection. I invert my selection. And then I do the Shift Delete again, Content Aware Fill. Content Aware Fill looks at only those pixels which are available to use as the pattern, and that will now fill in this area in the background. Let me do that one more time because you must, however, target the image in order for this to work. Shift, delete, fill. I've even left in the mistake so you can see that you must target the color image, then shift, delete, and using content aware fill. Check it out. Check it out. There's none of the pattern of the arch. I merely turn the arch back on like that, deselect my selection. So I now have a perfect tiled pattern using Content Aware Fill, and I hid areas that I did not want to appear in that pattern. Okay, that was tip number one. Back to our show here because we're really about how do we mask these birds against this background, and I want to show some advanced tips and techniques here. Target your birds right like this. You can use your standard selection tools. In this case, color range seems perfect for this case because color range will let me select all the blue values in the background. Just like this, I target them and then adjust my fuzziness. And I'm going to turn on localized color clusters because I know that that gives me my best quality when working on a mask holding down my Shift key to make sure that I have all of the available tones of blue throughout the image. 
and adjust my fuzziness here. Just to the point, I want a little bit of fuzziness because I'm really looking for the motion blur happening here on these wings, and that's the trickiest thing about masking is motion blur. So let's click OK. We now have a selection of the background. Let's go immediately over here to our mask panel. So we can use many of our selection tools as the first step in creating a really quality mask. Um, and in this particular case, I've used the um, background, the uh, color range tool to do this. OK, I've targeted my mask. I'm going to click right here to add the mask. I can invert the mask down here at the base, and I now have the birds. OK, here comes the advanced tips and techniques here, because this is where, this is the image right here. This area right here is the most important part. Let's go right into our mask edge mode right here, and let's refine this mask. Color range is great, but refining it with the refine mask tools is even better. What I want to do is go right here. Let's do a little smart radius. Let's bring our radius up. Let's watch the edge. Did you see the edge expand a bit? Let's show the radius. It's automatically adjusting into the motion blur, doing a really, really great job. I can actually go in and refine this with a little bit of edge shift. I can bring this out or in to adjust this like this. Look, I can see the transparency through to the brick in the background with the motion blur, but I'm also seeing that blue edge. This is the best. Let's decontaminate the colors along that edge so that we can then, oh, 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 we just have to, I just have to zoom in because that is too good. Before, so here's before, blue edge. How many tips and techniques are there in the world for getting rid of that blue edge? And now there's just one button, and then you can slide your slider to slide this over to get this just right. OK. Looks great. Let's click OK. Double click on our hand tool to see our entire image. Really, really refined quality to this. We created a pattern in the background. We brought in the birds. We used the great new advanced controls. But I'm going to leave you with one last tip and technique because I said this one is full of tips and techniques today. Check this out. I'm going to copy by clicking on this background image and make a copy of it, right, like that. The lower of the two, right here, it's just a copy. It has the exact same mask attached to it. I'm going to set this to screen for extra bonus points here today. Check it out. So here's the screened version. And I used to use this tip and technique when I didn't have CS5. You might screen the image of the doves into the background. But here's a great tip and technique. Combine the screen with your original. Combine the two together, and you get this really beautiful, nice glow happening behind it to even give it a richer, richer quality, as if it really, really is there, and you transition the two together. There you have it. The demo with everything. Content-aware fill and using the new masking features in Photoshop and masking out motion blur. Give these a try.